Okay, so we've seen uh, on YouTube these soda can batteries. And uh, first of all, thank you for whoever came up with this idea. It is a cute idea, I would say, and uh, it does work. The sand, copper, uh, soda can, and uh, salt mixed in one, uh, let's say, can, we'll call it the cell, uh, it is called one cell, um, I see all the bad things. Yes, it does produce some uh, electrolytes, uh, gives us uh, some uh, voltage, I'll show you how many volts uh, it gives us, here we go, if I turn this into, all the way down to, and as you can see, it gives us half a volt. And this copper is not even all the way down. It was, but I took it out. And uh, now I can't put it back in all the way. But it doesn't matter. It's always going to give me half a volt. Because no matter how big uh, this can is, even if it's 10 times bi as big as this one, and I have one coil in there, and, you know, uh, salt and sand and all that stuff, I'll still, at the end, end up having only about half a volt uh, believe it or not if you don't believe me do it, do it yourself and you'll see what I mean now that we know that this is possible right but what are the bad things well the soda can corrodes over time actually in a week or two in my case it was like a month uh, after I left it alone. This is what happened. See? Soda can corroded. This is the one that's about the same time. Corroded away and I just... I, I tried to grab it and everything fell apart. So this is what happens to corrosion. To uh, uh, soda can. So, uh, it is a cute idea. But as well, it's a bad idea because... It's not going to last long. So how do we upgrade this idea? Well, let me show you. So this is the upgrade. Upgrade from soda can to plastic container. Now, why plastic container? Well, if you haven't paid attention, soda can corrodes away, right? And it will fall apart. Now, if you ask yourself, why, why is it that I don't have... Uh, uh, sand in this container. Well, sand uh, actually does nothing. It only, uh, actually, it does prevent coil from touching the uh, sides of the soda can. That's about it. The main ingredient here is salt and water or some type of liquid. Now, in here, you see four different cells, one cell, two cells, three, four, separated by these walls. Why is that? Well, because if you have uh, one cell, right, no matter how big this cell is, we only get half a volt, uh, watts, half a watt, not volt. And um, if we make a uh, uh, four different cells, let's say, or more. And let's say, I'm guessing if each cell gives us half a watt, I mean volts, I keep saying watt, I don't know why. Um, that means that we should get about two vol volts out of this. Well, let's test it out. So as you can see, it's connected. Meter, multimeter is connected. It says, Error. This is the error. OL is error. And we have 2.8, 2.08, I'm sorry. Now, I've seen this at one point being 2.16, but it looks like it's been depleted a little bit. Don't know why. But here's the interesting thing about this. Now we that we know that each cell is half a wall, uh, volt, volt. <laughs> Damn, I'm so 
bad at uh, pronouncing both. Um, and we have a proof that uh, four half of volt uh, cells equals about two volts. And if you're curious about amperage, amperage is, uh, well, it was, it was at the three of something, but it keeps dropping. So it drops pretty fast. It's going to actually go down to like uh, 0 0.3 something, and it's going to slow down. It's going to be, it's not going to be as dropping as fast as this right now. Now, why is it dropping? Oh, because it's this, this multimeter is actually using those amperages to ca calculate how many amps uh, there is in this uh, homemade battery. But if we go back, and as you can see, battery is charging back up. All right, it's going to charge back up to uh, it's uh, 2.08 uh, volt, or maybe even less. It uh, depends. So, knowing that, right, what is the good thing about this? Well, it gives us more. Um, volts for the almost the same quantity of space uh, maybe a little more than the than the circuit but it gives us more voltage right and uh, well if you ask yourself well how many of these will I have to uh, make to power up something like a 12 volt uh, motor small motor well <laughs> you're gonna have well, do the math I mean, uh, you're going to need, what, 24 of these at least, right? If not more, because you need a, a extra of these to keep up, to charge other batteries, other cells, to keep up with the motor. That's what I'm guessing. Of course, I'm going to test it out and see what happens. But we're talking about uh, these batteries and upgrades. Now... Here's a bad thing about this. Since, uh, as you can see, it's it's slowly charging up by itself. And the bad thing about this is aluminum and copper will, um, what you call, corrode. And especially aluminum, uh, when it corrodes, this no longer will work. This type of battery will no, no longer work. What would be a solution to that? In my research, this is uh, this is my experiment, experiment, but my research is pretty much somebody else's experiment, and uh, I seen it and I read it. According to them, oil prevents that oil will prevent metal from rusting but it also prevent metal from corroding. And that's the key, preventing these metals to corrode, all right? Oil. And then I said to myself, well, wait a minute, can I upgrade uh, from water to oil and salt? Let's see. And this same uh, container type of container, all right, I have switched from salt and water to oil and, 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 and salt. So what do I get out of this? Nothing. Nothing is going on. It's connected. I didn't do anything. I didn't even switch anything. I just switched the wires from here to here. This is positive, negative. I can even switch around. You know, switch these, but I know nothing is going to happen. As you can see, connected zero. Why is that? Well, my guess is oil prevents electrolytes as well passing through. That's what I'm guessing. And um, now, I mean, we know or I know in my research that oil prevents uh, corrosion and rust, but how do we make 
or it'll work for us to prevent it, prevent these type of uh, metals to corrode away. Well, I thought of an idea where you would pour in this much of liquid of wa uh, water and salt, and then on top of this, I would pour in oil and see if that works. Now, that would be a long-term experiment. This is a short-term experiment, but uh, that's just an idea, right? And on top of this, right now, this container, if I pour in oil, uh, I believe this, uh, this still will give uh, electrolytes and will have voltage. But, all right, um, I don't know whether it will work because oil s stays on top of the water, okay? And uh, don't know if the oil that is on top of all this is going to attract uh, and pull all the corrosion of the metal. So that's a, uh, a, a long-term experiment. I might do it. I might not. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm, I'm haven't decided yet. But I, I know that oil does prevent corrosion and rust. There's another idea, which, believe it or not, if you know that water and and oil does not mix, well. It actually does mix, but you have to mix it at a high speed. So again, that will be another uh, test that I would have to do uh, where I would put water and salt and oil in the same mixture and mix it really fast and come up with uh, another type of liquid, which is kind of a whitish foamish liquid. If you have a seen um, uh, engine oil, uh, receiving coolant and engine oil becomes kind of whitish foamish uh, type of liquid that is what I'm talking about for these type of uh, cells batteries to prevent water from evaporating you will have to seal it up right but you don't want to seal it up to the point where no air can escape because if you make these decide to make this is for educational purposes for in my own uh, experiment uh these cells can expand and blow up they'll crack and blow you know crack off and, and just for the water, air to escape because it is because as it produces electrolytes it warms up this battery will warm up and will expand and, and you know it vapors will We'll expand this container if it's sealed so you'll have to like have a maybe tiny holes just tiny micro holes like a little, little tiny holes for the for that vapor to escape and also you have to keep in mind to uh, occasionally put water back in into these containers for for not to completely evaporate and also when corrosion overtakes all these metals you'll have to replace it as well and if you wonder how this uh, battery self cell is made it's really simple uh the kind of reddish uh, uh coils that you see is copper and on the bottom i don't know if you can see it let's see uh if this focuses the silverish type of uh, uh, coils is aluminum uh, they're all round and they're being separated by uh, whatever of choice you uh, want uh, in my case it's cotton uh, you know, tiny pieces of cotton placed in between the uh, copper the, the, the copper and the uh, uh, aluminum uh, coil and each cell and uh, copper and aluminum do not touch each other in within the e the, the 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 same cell they only connect over the cell copper connects to aluminum uh, coil aluminum coil is on the bottom uh, separated by cotton then copper coil is on top of the cotton connected to another cell 
of the aluminum on the bottom separated by cotton on top is uh, which more copper coil and copper is positive and aluminum becomes negative there are 12 turns in uh, each on each coil you know like 10 12 circles and I realized at that point that it is necessary it is not necessary to have that many turns heck I could probably just have just one turn or just piece of uh, uh, aluminum wire and piece of copper wire and I'll still probably get uh, half a wall again I have to do research that is why uh, I'm making these videos so my next experiment will be to see difference between 12 turns and 20 turns so this is 12 turns and here I'm gonna have to take out the oil out of this and put water and salt because these copper uh, these coils are 20 turns all right so this is 12 turns and these individual individual uh, coils are 20 turns and we're gonna see if there's any difference for you it's seconds for me it's minutes just like that snap on figure and new cell is back now as I said before those are 12 uh, rotations these are 20 rotations and let's see what happens this is yeah 3.03 volts hmm am I onto something I don't know note this uh, I do know uh, that when you first make a cell as I said mentioned uh, earlier that cell was 2.16 volt when I made it the first time I made it and it depleted uh, to 2.08 so over time it does deplete I don't know why but as you can see this one was 3.06 now it's slowly depleting um, but uh, it's uh, I guess more coils more voltage but the question is can we upgrade this now can we upgrade this uh, type of uh, um, homemade uh, battery cells let's see the amperage I didn't see the amperage yet Ooh, 10 that was the uh, one second is spiked to 10 uh, amps did you see that now it's 9.5 well it's gonna go down oh 11 what 12 whoa ho, ho. wait a minute what's going on why is it not depleting it's going up why is it going up 12 amps no way What for okay 12 amps did I stumble across something what is this 12 amps huh like I, I'm I'm mind blown 13 uh, this one says on a 200 milliamps says 13 milliamps Or is it milliamps? It's not right. What 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 happens to ah okay? So it's not even an amp, right? Is that I'm not familiar with this stuff. So I'm guessing this is milliamps, twelve milliamps. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I hope it's a good thing. It's it's way higher than this. I mean, let's see again. For this one what uh, amps it's two and only if I hold it
yeah, it goes down. This one amps go down on a 12, 12 rotation one, amps go down, but when I connect to this one, Well, amps do go down here as well, but if I hold, let's see if the, I'm curious. Well, now it's going up. What? That is interesting. Well, what happened to the, because I know when I connect this to the amperage uh, meter, voltage goes down because this uses oh, amperage. Now, oh, see? The voltage went down, but the amperage was going up. Voltage went down to one point something. You've seen it for a second. Now it's going to go back up, hopefully above three volts again. So yeah, uh, um, the question is, another question is, can I upgrade this? Probably. Uh, you guys can come up with uh, uh, another idea. Uh, Please comment below. What can we upgrade this to? Uh, I did research again for another uh, type of uh, cell batteries called uh, crystal cell batteries. I haven't uh, done any experiment on them. I do want to do some experiment on them and try to upgrade them as well uh, because I've seen them. They're also kind of low uh, on voltage and uh, I also research graphene uh, air or batteries and those two type of batteries that I just mentioned are kind of uh, complex there is a little complexity into them I like simpli simpli simplicity as you can see this is just salt water your everyday use all right copper wire you can find it anywhere aluminum well you can find it as well, but it's a little. It might you might have to do a little research on uh, aluminum. It doesn't have to be aluminum or wire. It could be. Uh, here we go. Here's an, uh, one idea. <laughs> if you can come up with the either both copper and aluminum to be in in form of sheets, you know, like a squarish sheets, and have them separated, right? or one or the other. I know aluminum, they're usually in sheets, so you can have an aluminum sheet, like a square sheet, uh, in between the uh, uh, copper and uh, aluminum sheet, you would have something uh, to separate them, and uh, test that out. Uh, I will probably test something like that. I will test out sheets, and uh, in form of uh, uh, aluminum and copper and see what I come up with that can I will I get more or can I upgrade it to higher voltage but this is interesting as you can see voltage is going up uh, let's give it a little bit oh I guess it's it stopped yeah I guess it's gonna stop here oh no well yeah slow it, it does slowly but take some time to get up but I don't know I'll check again later in a few minutes if it goes above three volts but I am excited if this is true that there is like 12 milliamps in there which is I don't know if it's that if it's good uh, I'm not familiar with milliamps volts I am kind of familiar with so you know this is higher voltage on more copper rotations and aluminum rotations so it gives us more voltage I guess all right so that's it for this part and I will talk to you next uh, time where I come up with a maybe better solution uh, you know with a higher voltage and something with higher voltage of course i had to do a little more research and a little more experiment to 
see if, what I can come up with. But what we learned is more rotations on copper and uh, uh, aluminum in one cell gives us more voltage. The question is, can we upgrade this and make it smaller and upgrade in voltage? That's my question and my goal to figure out whether it is possible or not. It probably is possible. It's just going to take me some time to figure that out. Until next time, peace.